From the official television station of Illini Sports, this is WCIA 3 Sports and Copper Creek Contractors, your Illini Nation. Illinois men's gymnastics made history this season by winning the first regular season title ever for the program. Now the Big Ten comes to them at the State Farm Center. Five teams, all in the top ten in the country, looking for the conference title this evening at State Farm Center. Illinois starting the night on the rings. The event owned by Ashton and Aya this season. He set a new career high of 50. 15.05 and has a strong shot at the individual title tomorrow. Then to vote were Amari Sewell with a 14.8, putting Illinois in front of the rest of the competition at that point. Up next on Parallel Bars, the strong performance from Michael Fletcher there. And uh, it is Sebastian Ingersoll on the high bar. Illinois' lowest event of the night forced Two counts of scores below 13. Connor McCool had the fourth highest score of the night on floor. Highest for the Illini. They head into the final rotation, trailing by about five to Michigan. On Pommel Horse, the Illini's best event, Woolhawk ties for the highest score of the night on the apparatus. Also up for the title tomorrow. But despite that performance, Illinois not able to overcome a rough night on the high bar. They take second place as Michigan claims the conference title. They fought so hard, and you just like feel it with your team. Um, five events were incredible. We had a couple little mistakes on high bar, but I just I can't even you know speak to how incredibly I am of the year that they had. That entire year of of working their tails off and to finish in second ahead by that much and to put that much pressure on Michigan. You know that's all I can ask for. All right, here's the order of events coming up now. The selection show takes place on Tuesday, but teams won't compete again until the 19th for the NCAA qualifiers and then finals on the 20th. The NCAAs are hosted this year in Columbus, but Big Ten's not quite over with yet. Individuals compete at the State Farm Center tomorrow.